Welcome to the final part of the Shivering Isles. This episode will conclude the Shivering Isles storyline, which started with episode 46. The final chapter of this playthrough will begin on the next episode, The Knights of the Nine. Previously, on the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. On, Renexus plays. It's another right. one! Madness! Why? Why? Everything is wrong! It can't be done! Stay away from me! Shh. I won't go back! You can't make me go back! I'll kill you all! You're all going to die! I'd stay back from that door if I were you. Nothing that's gone in has come out right. Look for yourself! Their brains are addled! Got no sense! Perfectly normal people went in there! And this is what's come out. Bring me a champion! Rend the flesh of my foes! A mortal champion to wade through the entrails of my enemies. Really? Do come in! It's lovely in the Isles right now. Perfect time for a visit. I am Haskell, Chamberlain to the Lord Sheagorath. You approach the Shivering Isles. Through the door behind me lies the realm of Sheagorath, Prince of Madness, Lord of the Never There. My lord seeks a mortal to act as his champion. As for his intent, to attempt to fathom it is a foolish endeavor. You may continue onward, through the door behind me. If you can pass the gates of madness, perhaps the Lord Sheogorath will find a use for you. You'll want to pass through the gates of madness. Oh, and mind the gatekeeper. He dislikes strangers to the realm. Enjoy your stay. Stay away from the gatekeeper. Let us handle this. This should be easy. A new arrival! A shame about my gatekeeper. I'm so happy I could just tear out your intestines and strangle you with them. <laughs> I suppose an introduction is in order. I'm Sheogorath, Prince of Madness. I've been waiting for you, or someone like you, or someone other than you for some time. I need a champion, and you've got the job. Time to save the realm, rescue the damsel, slay the beast, or die trying. Your help is required. You'll need all the help you can get if you're going to defeat Jigalag and stop the Grey March. Jigalag? Who is that? The Daedric Prince of Order. Or Biscuits. No, no order. And not in a good way. Bleak. Colorless. Dead. Boring, boring, boring! You've seen his knights? Not the warm and cuddly sort. <laughs> Not a bit of original thought in their lifeless husks. So, you're going to help me stop him. As it turned out, the Shivering Isles is actually a plane of oblivion, and Jigalag is the Daedric Prince of Order. Surprisingly, Shiagarath is actually Jigalag, and once an era... Shiagorath transforms back into his original form as Jigalag and attempts to destroy the realm of the Shivering Isles. Quick question, why hasn't Jigalag attacked himself yet? Well, aren't you precious? Do you really not know? Haven't you noodled it all through yet? Because he is me! Well, I'm him! We're a bit of each other, really. I, I won't be here when he arrives because... I'll be him! But you're still going to stop the Grey March! Stop Jigalag! Me? From destroying my realm! Soon you and everyone else will be dead! And I will be left a mad god! Ruler of a dead realm! Again. What happens is what always has happened. What always will happen. I crumble! I fade! 
the realm dies, and you with it. Flee while you can, mortal. When we next meet, I will not know you, and I will slay you like the others. I had intended to give you my staff, the symbol of my office, but life is gone from it as it goes from me. It is now dead wood, a useless twig. With the staff there was hope, but now hope is dead. I am dead. The realm. <laughs> Shayokorov is dead! All shall crumble before Jigala! He is gone, but hope is not lost. We have a rare opportunity here, but I hesitate to do what must be done. If the throne of madness remains empty when Jigalag storms the palace, he will prevail. But there is a chance that the throne may not be empty. You will sit on the throne. It has always been Sheogorath's intent for you to be the new mad god, provided that you possess the proper symbol of office, namely the staff of Sheogorath. Unfortunately, when Sheogorath faded, the power of the staff faded with him. It must now be remade. You possess the eye and the branch. Together they shall form the physical shape of the staff of Shailgoreth. After I shape them into the staff, you must take it to the seat of power in the Shivering Isles, the palace of Shailgoreth. There, imbue the staff with power from the font of madness. Soak the staff in the waters of the land, and it will open its full power to you. I have immersed my staff in the font of madness. I have gained the power of Shugorath. Finally, a throne of my own. <laughs> My lord, our Mazel Zuda sent me to find you. She requests your immediate assistance. Oh, Ormazel. Good. What does she want? I don't know, my lord. She only said it was a matter of the gravest import to the security of the realm. My lord, I'm glad to see you. We have a developing situation that requires your attention. Okay. What's happened, Ormazel? Order. An obelisk has activated just outside the palace. I've ordered my Orioles to engage the enemy. I expect that this is the beginning of the final assault. The cursed usurper Jigalag himself may even take the field before the end. What are your orders, my lord? I will lead the attack myself. Please have your guards attack alongside. It will be our great honor to fight by your side, my lord. Kneel before the saints. Eta Orioles! Eta Orioles! Eta Orioles! Eta Orioles! A second obelisk has activated. I need to shut it down to stop the knights from overwhelming the defenders.
father of Shinogorov's foolish schemes. Your staff does not make you a Daedra, foolish mortal. You wear the trappings, but you are not the Mad God. Jigalag has spoken to me, and told me the Grey March is ended, and the forces of order have retreated. Haskell will likely know how I should proceed. a pleasure. You've done it! Well done, Lord Sheogorath. I never doubted you for a moment. Now, of course, there is business to attend to. As you have assumed the mantle of Sheogorath, there are matters that deserve your attention. As Lord of this realm, there are a number of benefits to which you are entitled, as well as a number of duties to which you must attend. What are these benefits you speak of? You may request any of the Golden Saint or Dark Seducer escorts at the castle to accompany you. They will defend you to the death. You may also summon entertainment to your throne room. Your predecessor found this most invigorating. Speak with me if you wish entertainment. You also have the ability to affect the weather in your realm. As it is an extension of yourself, it will often have an effect on you as well. You also have the benefit of Sheogorath's protection. Cast this upon yourself, and if your life is threatened, you will be returned to your castle. Many of these abilities, Lord, are rooted in the magics of the Isles. Should you choose to leave this realm, they will not likely function. Got it. And what are my duties now as Lord? Your first duty is to attend to the needs of your subjects you will find that there are constant threats to the residents of the Isles. Your job is to protect them either by dealing with the matter yourself or sending your armies to take care of it for you. I see. 
Is there anything happening right now that requires attention? Residents of Felmore have complained of creatures encroaching on their lands. Perhaps you might be of some help, time permitting. I have things to tend to at the moment. Please send the guards to help. As you wish, my lord. I'll see that a contingent of dark seducers is sent to the settlement. Great. Thanks, Haskell. So, what is this entertainment? You wish entertainment, my lord? Indeed I do. Send for a dancer immediately. As you wish. You wish an escort, Lord? Oh, no, not yet. As you were. As you wish, I stand at the ready. Are you injured, Lord? Do you require my services? No, but show me your healing magic anyway. Of course, Lord. Always a pleasure. Your humble servant, my lord. You honor me, lord. Everyone in this city, look at me like I'm speaking gibberish. Actually, I can understand you just fine now, Bullwing. You? You can! Bless you, my lord. I should have known that you, of all people, would be able to understand me. Very good. I shall be on my way. Gal best in it. At your command, Lord Sheogorath. Yes? Always a pleasure. You honor me, Lord. I stand ready, Lord. The final chapter of the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, The Knights of the Nine will begin on the next episode.